Hello and welcome back once again, fellow vinyl aficionados. Racer Joe, haven't done one of these for a while. This is a response to a challenge thread or thralenge that is out there right now. It's Chris from Record Talk. Look, there's Chris right there. There he is. Uh, I'm going to start it up and play it in the background. Hold on. Okay, there we go. So, what this is, is a couple, couple of things going on here. It was a leap year, so Chris has a challenge going for that, but it's also going to be three years, or is three years, of him in the VC. So, a combination of those two things. What he's after is three records that were released in leap years. Then there's a bonus entry for a song that was number one on February 29th in any given year. I don't believe there was many stipulations. And I apologize for the red thing on my chin. Zit. I'm just a young punk. I get zits all the time still. Anyway, whatever. You guys can ignore it. I was going to put a band-aid on it, but I thought that would be stupider. So, you know, I could look, I could do this through the whole video, but that'll look stupid as well. I probably didn't even need to point it out, but there you go. It's pointed out. The third aspect, if you choose to, is if you can show an album you've got that was specifically released on February 29th. Okay, so that's the criteria for the Leap Year Challenge for Chris from Record Talk. Look, there's Chris's old self right there. I like Chris's channel. It's got some great stuff on it. Make sure that you subscribe to it. It uh, will have a link to this video, that video, not this video. This video does not need a link. You're watching it. That video and Chris's channel. All right, so that's enough rambling from Racer Boy. Let's get into it. All right, so back in 1984, little known band, second album, but it was released in 1984, which was a leap year. And it was Metallica and Ride the Lightning. This happens to be the not an original. I don't know how many originals I've got. I think I've got an original and Justice and then the new stuff. But other than that, I don't have the original Big Four. I think I have an original Black. Anyway, this is a remastered for the first time. The number one thrash metal album of all time. According to whoever made this hype sticker. And it's doing its job because that's hype right there. So there you go. 1984, a leap year. Metallica, Ride the Lightning. Next up, <laughs> I do have a And Justice for All because this one was released in 1988. And <clears throat> nine new songs, over 65 minutes of music, two record sets, superior sound. There you go. And a ticket stub to seeing them. I've seen them a couple of times. Hope to see them again. This was uh, up in Saskatoon. Uh, it was for the Hardwired to Self-Destruct album tour. So there you go. But there you go. 1988, another leap year. Metallica and Justice for All. And to round things out, from 2016, hey look, it's Hardwired to Self-Destruct. And Metallica from 19, no, not 19, 2016, right? Look at my notes. Yeah, clarification. 2016, Hardwired to Self-Destruct. Uh, self <clears throat> Would you call this a bit of a comeback for them? I think they had a little bit of a lull, and then they got back with this. And 72 seasons is pretty awesome as well. So there you go. 2016 Leap Year Metallica Hardwired to Self-Destruct. So, that fulfills the first criteria of three albums. Damn it, you can see this. Oh, well, whatever. You guys don't give a shit, right? Cheers. Please enjoy a beverage of your choice while I do mine. I think I got the uh -hums again. <clears throat> Trying to keep them down. Sorry. Now, to fulfill the second part of the challenge, thralenge, thread... Uh, contest? It was a contest response? Sure. Whatever. You guys don't care. Do you? Do you care? You don't care. I was trying to come up with the first song that was number one in a leap year, obviously a February 29th, after I was born, but I didn't have that one, and then it just got to be too far gone. So, from the year, the thought of me being conceived may have happened. <laughs> Does that make sense? It's from 1964. I was born in 1965. So I wasn't conceived in 1964 because that math doesn't work. But I might have been thought about being conceived. Anyway, <clears throat> I digress. The Beatles, Long Tall Sally, and I want to hold your hand. 
1964 was number one on February 29th, 1964. They had a whole bunch of number ones that year. But if you look it up, it says February 29th. I don't know if it was the Billboard Hot 100. I'm not sure. Chris said it didn't really matter what chart it was on. It was number one. It was probably number one on a few charts on February 29th, 1964. And the final part is to show an album that was released on February 29th. This happens to be from 1976. Um, in some places it says March, but I found in more than one spot... Hey, did I mention there, uh, Chris from Record Talk, there's his uh, channel back there. More than one spot showed that this, Olivia Newton-John, Come On Over, was released February 29th, 1976. I have purposely not watched many of this challenge response thread yet. Uh, I have watched two. One was uh, Mike from MGK Boston. Hey, Mike. And one was Chris's. They both showed the same album. So I tried not to show that one. I tried to seek out. It was a little harder to find. But again, you can quote me. I was going to say don't quote me, but you can quote me because I did find, and if you need me to prove it, I'll prove it. <laughs> I found a couple of places where it said that this was released February 29th, 1976. All right, so there you go. There is a uh, response. Chris, thanks so much. Congrats on three years. Congrats on making it through another leap year, another February 29th. We'll do it all over again in four years. That's how leap years work, guys. It's true. Thanks, Chris. Uh, again, a link to this young man's channel will be where links go. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. Cheers, everybody. Don't look at my chin. I'm coming in close. Don't look at my chin.